Hi everyone, it's Bethany from Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration. In this tutorial, I'm going to be applying my first color transfer to a piece of furniture. Now in the past, I think I did a tutorial not too long ago on how to apply just a black transfer to a piece of furniture. I've done a couple of them, but I've never done a color one. So I usually get my transfers off of Amazon or there's a couple of people off of Etsy that I've ordered them from. The brand that I like that I would say I use the most is called Redesign and they look like this. And this one's super pretty. This one is a sailboat on the ocean. It's got some really pretty blues and turquoise and there's that one it's called on a voyage i got this one for 27 dollars they may that may seem like a lot kind of is um again with running a business i try to keep my overhead as low as possible so i'm going to put it on a piece of furniture that was given to me free that makes the most sense so i have a coffee table behind me it's a circular one it's made out of nutmeg that's the wood um, i painted the base a couple different shades of white i'm going to be distressing it and then i'm going to apply this transfer to the top now i have sanded the top completely down to the bare wood and then i gave it the kind of like a whitewash look the thing here with the color transfer which i've never applied before so this is new for me is learning how to blend around the transfer so it just doesn't look like you stuck it on a piece of furniture the big thing with transfers the mistakes that i see out there on pieces of furniture is when a transfer is just kind of stuck on a piece of furniture and it doesn't blend well so you want it to blend well so i might have to paint around the transfer some people also kind of um they'll take a sand block or sandpaper and kind of get some of the transfer off to make it blend more with the furniture. So I know I'm gonna have to do some painting and blending afterwards. So let's get started on this. I'm gonna change my camera um, down to the coffee table and you guys can see how I apply a transfer to a piece of furniture. Um, you're gonna notice that this transfer came in three different sections, okay? So we have one section here, one section here, and one section here sometimes transfers come in one full sheet and sometimes they come separated like this um, usually before you order make sure you read about the transfer to see does it come in separate sheets or does it come in one full sheet um, this should be a relatively easy transfer to apply just because it's just in three solid sheets I've done transfers in the past that have really intricate scroll writing a lot of letters and those to me are very hard to apply let's say on a dresser face so hopefully this should be relatively easy so when you get the transfer and you take it out of that um, that tube it comes with like a wooden stick okay just like a regular looks like a larger popsicle stick this is what you use to transfer the transfer onto your piece of furniture you're going to rub it and then it'll come off so like I said before, they tell you with applying transfers, make sure it's not on a piece of furniture that has a finish on it yet. And when I say that, if you paint a piece of furniture, you can put a transfer on top of that. Make sure the paint does not have a top coat on it and make sure the piece of wood that you're putting it on doesn't have a top coat on it. So what I've heard, I haven't tried it if it's true or not, but don't apply a transfer on top of a piece of furniture that has wax on it or it has like a polyurethane. I've been told it doesn't stick or adhere well to the piece of furniture. So let's get started. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, I am, I'll admit that. So I laid it out how I think I would like it to appear on this circular coffee table. Um, and I'll go one section at a time. I think I'll start with the top one. It seems to be the most sense. Um, you're gonna notice here, some of my transfer is just gonna hang off to the side and I'll sand those areas off, okay? I'm gonna get some frog tape as well. Should have had that beforehand. Um, you're gonna need frog tape. That's the green tape like this, painter's tape, to tape down your transfer so it stays in place. Um, so I'm just going to kind of get an eyeball here of how I want this to look. I think it's relatively in the position that I want it to be in. 
So excuse me if I do some adjustments right now uh, where I want it to start and finish. I think I have a good area here that's exposed and good area up here. They seem relatively equal. Um, and I want the sailboat obviously more off to the right. So with the transfer, it has backing to it. That's the white piece of paper you see on the back. You need to remove that before you um, place it down to actually start rubbing it off. Okay, so I think I'm in the right here. Okay, so I'm gonna remove the white backing. Here it comes off. All right. Wow, that's a long sheet. Okay, so now I'm going to put my transfer down. This is very nerve wracking. Okay, there's my center. putting it people. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of get all the air bubbles out, start from the center and press towards the edges to make sure it's completely flat against my surface. And once I get that finished, then I will start rubbing with the stick and get that transfer sticking to the piece of furniture. Okay, I think we're pretty good here. All right, so now I'm gonna take my stick and I'm gonna start rubbing. Now, when you do this, you will see that the transfer starts to separate from the film that it's stuck on. And you do have to press pretty hard. You will get a good workout in your arm. So I'm gonna go up to where this little middle marker is here. There's a little line here in this transfer. And I'm gonna make sure I get from here out, here over, all rubbed on. And I'll peel back the transfer to make sure it's all getting transferred to the top of this coffee table. It does take some time to apply transfers. So it's not something that I want you to think that you can do quickly. Because if you make a mistake, it's very hard to come back from the mistake. So really just map out where you want your transfer to go. Tape it if you need to tape it. It looks like I don't need to tape this transfer. If I was applying this maybe to a dresser and it was upright, I would definitely need to tape the transfer. But since it's down flat, I don't need it. And when I change positions here in the light, I can kind of see this is, this is getting on the table. I can tell it's lifting a little bit. The film is lifting on me. So I know it's getting rubbed off. Around edges are a little tricky. Just get it on there as much as you can. I'm gonna lose just a little bit of the transfer on these corners and that's okay. As long as I'm getting the majority of, majority of it on, I am okay with that. So there's an air bubble right there. I'm gonna go slow over that because I don't want it ripping the transfer. So I'm just slowly trying to flatten that air bubble. I think I got it. Just go slow. 
And I can tell I have another air bubble over here, a little bit larger. I'm going to slowly squeeze it out to the edge. Here we go. And once I get over to the edge here, I'm going to check my work and see how well it's coming off. rubbed on the edges here. So you can do that. You can lift and see where you're at. Doing okay. I just need to keep rubbing it to make sure it is completely getting transferred onto the top of this coffee table. If you lift up and you notice that it's not, just lay the transfer back down, go over it with your stick, and just keep rubbing until it gets off. You might have some little stubborn areas, that's common. All right, and Biscuit's letting himself be known. My dog. Okay, we're lifting, lifting, lifting. On the edging here, it's, it's wanting to half stick and half come off because I've only rubbed up to that certain area. So I gotta really like cut it off so it will come off. So it is totally coming off here. area. I need to make sure that gets completely removed from the film. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. I just go super slow, that way I'm not ripping it. Alright, as I peel back here, it looks like all of this, maybe you can see this right now, so the one corner I didn't need is still left on the film, and then the rest here got transferred to the table. Now remember I went up only to that halfway mark, so I have to continue going. And here's the halfway mark. So you can see this part of the transfer is on my table, which is great. That's what I want to have happen. All right. All right, I'm just gonna continue rubbing the other side of this here. I'll probably speed up my film so I'm not boring you. This is pretty just repetitive here. And then I'll do a close-up shot of this first section of the sailboat transferred on this coffee table. And then I will do it two more times on the two other sections. And then I'll have to see how much I have to blend on the top with some with some paint, just to make sure it looks cohesive. So with this transfer, I just want it to look like this sailboat was like painted on the top of it. I don't want it to look like a transfer. There's another air bubble. My other transfers never had air bubbles. I'm guessing because this is a solid transfer. 
on a large sheet and that's why I'm getting some air bubbles. So I'm just gonna work them out. Patience is key. Another air bubble. you guys but it is freezing cold here in New Hampshire we got hit with quite the cold front I think on Friday it was one degrees so it's pretty cold so I'm thinking of warmer places and I thought I need to get on that project with the transfer in the sailboat I have another transfer that kind of matches this that has ocean waves that I believe, I think I'm going to be applying it to a dresser that I got for free. I think it'll look really sharp on that. I wanted to put this transfer on this coffee table because I live about a couple miles from the beach and I thought here on the seacoast in New England, I'd have a good chance of selling this one relatively quickly because people eat stuff like this up over here. Anything nautical, sailboats, anchors, any of that stuff. People seem to really like. All right, so I'm coming up to that edge part like I did on the other side. I gotta really rub it. And I'm rubbing it right on the edge because I'm trying to, basically what I'm trying to do is like break the, um, break the transfer off at that point. There we go. And I think I'm getting it. Okay. I'm going to lift it up. we got that other side so now here's the other half everything's looking good so far and I'm going really slow when I pull it back just in case a piece of the transfer is still stuck on the film I can lay it back down and make sure it gets rubbed on around those the end of my table and actually on this side it completely peeled off no I don't want you sticking to the edges no 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 come with me <laughs> that one I had to pull off around the edges and that can happen and that's okay Clean it up afterwards. These transfers are super sticky. Stick it in my hands. All right, I'm gonna readjust my view on my camera so you guys can see what this looks like. Close up and the first part attached. Okay, here you can see the first part of that transfer, the first third of it, that it is now on top of my coffee table. And I'm going to start the second and third portion of this large transfer. This time I'm gonna put it on a time-lapse video as to not bore you with all of my gibberish and you guys can see me apply this.
Okay, I just finished fine tweaking that color transfer that I applied to the top of the coffee table. I'm gonna show it to you in a second. But first I wanted to talk about, this project was a little frustrating for me. I don't know why I do this to myself. This is my first color transfer and I decided to put like a rectangular transfer on a circle coffee table. So it looked awkward once I got that transfer on. It just looked like I slapped a bumper sticker on the top of this coffee table. And I didn't want that look. I needed to make the square edges round. I needed to give it some, I don't know, I just had to like blend it better with the circular um, shape of the top of this coffee table. So that's what caused me a little bit of a headache for myself, just trying to get it so it looked natural instead of just a, a rectangular transfer slapped um, on top of this circular coffee table. So my advice to you, if you get one of these color transfers and you're putting it on a square or rectangular piece of furniture, like a dresser, you'll find that this was this will be easier for you um, to make it look natural. So what I did on that previous time-lapse video that you just saw is what I was sanding around the edges to try to make it look worn, distressed, and like it naturally was on this table all along. So what I would add, this helped me so much. This is kind of, I don't know what this is. I bought this a while ago when I was like decoupaging. Um, it's like a little flat rectangular rubber, it, it bends, it moves. Um, it's kind of like a scraper. And what I found was when I was laying those three pieces of the transfer, before I would start rubbing it on, I made sure that I was getting all the air bubbles out with this little doohickey. Have this nearby because I'm glad I had this because the first piece that I put down, I noticed I was getting a lot of air bubbles and it makes sense. It's a solid piece of a transfer. You're gonna get air underneath there. Again, this is my first color transfer and it's my first larger one where it's just like completely solid so I learned something with this video and again I don't know why I do tutorials where I'm like oh this is my first time doing this but I guess I'm hoping I help through my tutorials um, some of the mistakes that I make or some of the hiccups that I come along with my projects and that was one of them for this project um, before you start scraping a solid transfer like this make sure you got all the air bubbles out before you begin and if you have one of these that'll help immensely so let's take a look at the table you guys can let me know what you think um, in the comment section um, so I'm going to readjust my camera and you guys can take a look at it Okay guys, here is what she looks like. I have the table tipped up so you guys can get a really good look at what I did here. So if you noticed before, it was very rectangular. So I went around and I sanded the edges, bringing, removing part of the transfer, which was difficult. These transfers, they get really gummy on anything, regular sandpaper. Um, I even tried to take like the edge of my orbital sander to it. Um, so just be aware of that when you're trying to sand and kind of distress um, these full color solid transfers. Um, they can get, I, I use the word gummy, um, the material just kind of balls up on your sandpaper. So it's not very easy to remove. So keep that in mind as well. If you're thinking about like, removing this whole section and really distressing it, it's gonna be a lot of work. So I decided to just kind of keep with the bare minimum around here. Um, and then I went ahead and added another layer of my white stain around the exposed wood. I already had one coat on before, so I thought, you know what? And then what I liked is some of the stain got kind of caught along along the edging here and it creates a nice border and I kind of like how it looks. I mean, I'm very hard on myself on what I think is nice. I'm very hard on myself. Um, I do like it. I, I think once I sleep on it, it's been a long day. It's almost 11 o'clock here Eastern time. I'm really tired. So maybe with fresh eyes tomorrow, I'll like it even more. Uh, my next steps for finishing this, I'm gonna add some, there's some really nice gray, light grays here in the water. Um, I thought I would add some gray, like a light layer of gray along the base of this coffee table and then distress it even, even more. Um, I'll show you right here. I'm gonna flip the table. 
It's a two-tier coffee table. It's a vintage. Like I said, this is solid, not mag. It's pretty heavy. Um, so what I'm going to do is I already put two layers of different colors of white paint on the bottom here. And I'm going to add some gray just to give it some more depth, some more color. I think it's just too white right now. And then I'll distress it and all those colors will peek through and that'll give it some more dimension. But overall, I'm really happy with this piece. Um, I can't wait to get a top coat on it. I think that'll help. Um, add some pizzazz as well. Um, so if you guys are just joining me and you found my channel, hi, thanks. Thanks for following me. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do um, hit that red button. It's in the lower right hand corner. You can't miss it. Um, click on that and then you'll get notifications every time I post a new video. I try to post a new video every week um, and it's always, always in regards to um, do-it-yourself type projects, um, specifically refinishing um, like unwanted furniture. That's kind of my niche. Um, this piece was given to me free. Um, materials that I have put into it, probably the transfer was $27. I'm hoping I can probably flip this for around $249. That's a pretty good profit. I'm probably putting in four hours of labor. Um, so that's pretty good profit right there. So I like to let people know what my goals are with each um, piece of furniture. My goal is to just repurpose old furniture, bring new life to it, but then also sell it to people at an affordable price. But I'm also looking, obviously, to make money while I'm doing it. So I always try to keep my overhead as low as possible. If you've watched my videos, um, I'm always into doing that. So. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm sorry I'm babbling. I'm really tired. <laughs> um, I hope you got to see you guys soon and I'll include some photos um, at the end here of the top. And the finished project, you will be able to find it on my Instagram. So go find me on my Instagram. It's bethany.yousef right there. I'll list it for you there. You can also find me on Facebook at Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration. And that's right there. All right, you guys. Till later. I can't find Biscuit. I don't know where Biscuit is. He usually helps me say toodaloo. Well, anyways... Biscuit is probably sleeping already. So we'll see you guys soon. Bye now. Oh, wait, here he is. He just came in. Come here. What are you doing? Come here. We were just saying, where's Biscuit? Is he sleeping? He didn't get to say toodaloo. Hi. People need to see you. Yeah. You tell people it's cold? It's New England, right? It's cold right now. Yes, I know. He's got his cute little sweater on. Okay, so Biscuit is formally here so he can say toodaloo, right? See you guys soon. Bye.